Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Being on Dancing with the Stars is incredible. It's, um, you know, it's so rewarding primarily because you get to share this experience with somebody else. You, you meet somebody you don't know and you go through a lifetime of emotion. You know, you, you build them up, you toughen them up, you, you teach them something that they're petrified of learning and doing and uh, you're in it together and so you, you walk out of that experience with the new family member. Well, gosh, I've been on the show for 10 seasons. The very first season I was on was Jerry Rice and we made it to the final and our freestyle when we both wore big Afro wigs, 70s outfits, and we did a full on disco number. I mean, everybody loves disco. We just had so much fun. It, it didn't even feel like work. I've been in five seasons now. Hopefully this will be six coming up. But um, the highlight, I guess, is always the first dance. You know, because you're kind of, you're excited about being part of the show anyway, but you don't really feel the whole buzz behind it until you, until you do the show. Another highlight would then would be getting a professional part, or getting a celebrity as a partner for the second season was a highlight. I mean, if I get on this next season, it'll be my fifth season. They don't let you know until the very last minute, probably, you know, three days before you have to start training with your partner. I think it's an amazing opportunity. You meet so many amazing people. You know, I've had um, Ron Artest, I've had... Donald Driver, who I won with, who is just amazing, Gilles Marini and Sean Lowe. So I've had a great group of guys and they're all my friends now and it's just been great. I am now 27. I was 22 when I was on the show on American Idol and I wasn't quite ready for um, the amount of, uh, you know, pressure and attention and even the backstage politics that go on on American Idol because there's so much, you know, producers and assistant producers and vocal coaches and the, the judges and the public and your family and um, I just wasn't really secure in myself as a singer I think yet and that's probably why I didn't like fight my way to the top there I kind of just like at one point was like you know what I got what I needed out of this situation and I learned so much and then I just I kind of moved on. My family's like the Partridge family and we all just kind of grew up singing and playing instruments together and I just I knew right away that I wanted to be a singer and so when American Idol came along I just kind of did it and I auditioned season five and they came all the way to my house they did a hometown story made it all the way to the last day in Hollywood and then they cut me and I went season six and auditioned and then I made it. I ended up doing So You Think You Can Dance uh, season six and came in as a finalist which is awesome but at the same time it's it just shows that you know it's not it's not what you do it's how you do it and why you do it there was a moment in the very beginning of the audition process when i actually learned a contemporary piece and for me my movement the the, the freedom that i have of of moving around and, and kind of catching myself on the floor and making sure that i'm not hurting myself or not falling is is a is i feel like the art form that I do. So when I learned contemporary, it was tr it was very tapping into the heart and making sure that you know you're, you're projecting what you're feeling with the movement that you're given. 